I'm so grateful that we were able to connect virtually in the midst of everything that is going on right now. You may find yourself in a new and different place where rhythms have shifted and connection with community is limited. I know I have, and it can feel pretty isolating. In fact, I would say the entire narrative right now can feel particularly isolating. In the middle of this, I would like to offer a reframing of our situation, one that is pulled from the scriptures and the pattern of Jesus. Specifically, I would like to propose that in this season, we have a unique opportunity to embrace solitude as a transformational spiritual rhythm rather than embracing suffering or indulging in perceived isolation. Let me address the last half of that, the suffering or indulging in perceived isolation. What we're talking about is a redefining of these two terms, solitude versus isolation, that sound very similar, but in reality are pretty different. When I refer to isolation, it is by definition an intentional closing off of ourselves from the presence of Christ as He reveals Himself in spirit, scripture, people, and creation. Let's break those down. For example, in spirit, we avoid communion with Christ through prayer or meditation or fasting. In scripture, we avoid and refuse to heed the words, instruction, healing, and comfort of God's text. In community, we shut ourselves off from the presence of Christ and others and avoid the vulnerable conversations. And lastly, in creation, we isolate ourselves by developing an intentional blindness to the presence of Christ all around us. So if isolation is shutting ourselves off from Christ in all the ways that He seeks to reveal Himself, and instead languishing in worry and anxiety or indulging in distraction and comfort, solitude, on the other hand, is a full-on embrace of the presence of Christ as He reveals Himself in spirit, in scripture, in community, and in creation. Lamentations 3.28 says, Let him sit alone in silence, for the Lord has laid it upon him. As we reframe the current situation, I would offer that Christ is extending an invitation for you to embrace solitude with Him, with those you're quarantined with, with creation, and with His scripture. I would offer to you that the Lord has laid silence upon us. He has extended to us a space where genuine transformational connection with Christ's spirit can take place. What a gift. Now, I'm not saying that watching Netflix while you're stuck at home for two weeks is refusing to engage with Christ, but I am also not saying that this quarantine situation should be a two-week-long quiet time. What I am saying is that Christ seeks connection with you. And when you engage with the solitude that Christ is offering, in order to be with the Spirit of Christ, transformation happens. We live into our identity as people of Christ, people of hope, and we become the presence of Christ in a world that desperately needs to see and experience this hope and freedom in Christ. Practically, this could look like meditating on Psalm 23, or maybe it's a conversation with God about how you've been experiencing isolation. Maybe it's an honest conversation about how you're not feeling God's presence right now. So, as you're at home, what would it look like for you to embrace solitude over isolation? What would it look like for you to engage Christ in new and meaningful ways because He has laid silence upon us? The invitation to commune with Christ, His Spirit, His people, His creation has been extended to us. How are you choosing to respond? We would love to know. Please email us, call us, and let us know how you are choosing solitude over isolation.